Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Generation Selects Earthrise Exhaust. This decal set includes four decal sheets, two on foil backing, and two on vinyl. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at exhaust, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, exhaust really doesn't look that bad. His primary colors are a burgundy red, black, and white. He has some great sculpted details, especially here on the head sculpt, I love the look of that visor. He kind of reminds me of G.I. Joe's Snake Eyes. He has a light gray mercenary logo right there on the chest. Unfortunately, the chest is also primarily that clear plastic that you can look right through. It does benefit from being tinted, but still, I hate clear plastic. Got some nice sculpted details there on the arms, down here on the side of the fists. A little bit of door carries over with the red. Uh, down here, there's more red on the legs. And a bandit logo right there. And he has some gray on the toes. Other than that, he really doesn't have that many paint applications or details. So there you go, guys. One final look at exhaust in robot mode before. And after. Exhaust gets quite a few new decals to help break up all the blandness of his robot mode. First off, let's take a look at the head sculpt and the new visor decals. I really like this. He actually gets three decals, a chrome one here at the top, and two red. He also gets new decals right there for kind of blue ears, kind of like Wheeljack. He also gets a yellow decal right there on the head crest. New blue decals back here on the wings. On the chest, he gets this decal right here. It's a 598, which corresponds to the number on vehicle mode. Now, there were some options. You had a purple Autobot logo, a purple Decepticon logo, this 598 right here, or you had these black and silver Mercenary logos. Now, originally, I had a Mercenary logo right there, but then decided to trade that one out for the 598 and put the Mercenary logos there on his shoulder. The way I look at it, he's a Mercenary, so there's no sense in showing his faction in vehicle mode, but we'll go more into that later on. He also gets new decals right here on the lower part of the shoulder, new decals here on the wrists, New decals right there on the hips. New decals that cover up all of that translucent plastic. Moving on down to the legs. Man, man's got a loose knee joint. He's got new decals right there at the knees. Down here on the feet, new decals that say Lone Pilot and Knockout. Light decals and new decals right there for the grill. So robot mode now looks fantastic. So there you have exhaust in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, exhaust looks a lot better than he did in robot mode. And that's thanks to all the extra added details and paint applications, especially right here on the side. I love the pinstriping there. He's got the sponsorship logos. He still has that clear translucent window or windshield, but it doesn't look as bad in vehicle mode as it does in robot mode. Mercenary logo there on the roof, sponsorship logos right there on the spoiler. And I like the wheels. The wheels look really good. Much better than these clip-on wheels we've been getting lately. Front of the vehicle is the toes of the robot modes. You've got the gray and the bandit right there. Uh, rear of the vehicle. Good sculpting, but 
a little plain. But all in all, a not a bad looking vehicle. So there you go, guys. One final look at exhaust in vehicle mode before and after. Exhaust gets some extensive decal work thanks to Toy Hacks. And the first decals you're probably noticing are the new window decals. And I really like that so much better than the translucent plastic he originally came with. New decals right here on the front part, though I do wish these connected a little better. That's not the decal's fault. That's the toy itself. Blue decals all the way along the side, and there's extra blue decal right here to kind of extend the look of the windows. As I said before, there's the 598 that matches up with the 598 right here. And all of these decals are brand new sponsor decals. We've got the wash and roll, and what's really cool, there is a Toy Hacks decal. I think that's the first time Toy Hacks has put their logo on a decal set. You also got Icon Construction, No Smoking. I, I really dig this. Lone Pilot Knockout once again, the new grill, and let the light catch a little better this time, the blue lights. Also new decals right here. You got Dia or Diac wash and roll right there. Now, for those of you that don't know, I'm getting a kick out of the wash and roll because that was a classic G1 comic book story. On the back of the vehicle, you get some great decals right here that change that from white to black, and that looks amazing. I love the looks of that right there. It really breaks up all the white. On top of the spoiler, you've got new logos, Mercenaries and Space Bridge. On this side, we've got BlackRock Enterprises, a flaming Decepticon logo. I almost made him a Decepticon, but the way I look at it, that means he's going to burn some Decepticons up. He's a mercenary. He takes no sides. And Viper Trails. Now, right here, here is a decal that's not really shown on the sticker map. It's a little vent decal right there. Now, he gets a lot of new decals that add to the pinstriping. Like I said, this red section right here, and it kind of goes into this, which extends all the way to the back. You've got this new decal right there that extends that out. Plus, you got decals that add more white. You got this right here that was black, is now white. And there was a decal that went right there, but I didn't see the sense of putting that on since that's already white. Other white decals that cover up the black are right here on the hood. But you really got to watch these during transformation. I've transformed this guy twice since I've applied these decals. They keep popping off. So I may heat these up a little bit, make sure they're on there really secure before I transform him again. Now onto the back of the vehicle. He gets tail lights down inside those ports right there. And those are a lot of fun to put in and try to make sure they're both the same. He gets a license plate that says exhaust. You got a few different options right there, but I went with exhaust and I think that pretty much covers vehicle mode. I think they did a really good job of this. I love the throwbacks with all those sponsors. So there you go, guys. Exhaust in vehicle mode after. <laughs> Toy Hacks once again crosses the finish line with another fantastic decal set for a race car themed transformer. I just reviewed Smokescreen last weekend, now Exhaust this weekend, and I love these sets. The attention to details, the different sponsorship logos, they really pop on these figures and add so much more to what we get in the mainline retail release. It really adds so much more character to these figures. I only have a few minor complaints with this set, and that's the decals on the hood that pop off every time I transform the feet. They're located right there, so you want to be very careful to get those good and centered, otherwise they will catch and flip off every time. But other than that, this is a great set and comes highly recommended. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!
Yeah.